So today we're going to take a look at uh, using uh, Retail Pro and doing accounts receivable and how you can send that account receivable over to QuickBooks through Account Link. Hi, Mindy. Hi. <laughs> Am I the only one here? You are. There was one other person here, and then, but she went away. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> and there's supposed to be six people here. <laughs> huh. So I was trying to wait and get at least half, but we're going oh. the other direction. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, well, I will be honest. This isn't really my job, so I'm just trying to learn everything I can. So feel free to All do right. quick overviews. <laughs> All right, and which version of uh, point of sale or, or retail pro are you using? Nine. Uh, nine or eight? Nine, okay. Nine. <clears throat> I'm using eight right now. Okay. Because I can't find my nine to start it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the only difference between eight and nine is really in setting up. And nine doesn't have the setup that eight does, so it makes it so much simpler. <laughs> All right. The one thing you want to make sure of, though, is that anyone who is marked as an account receivable is uh, marked to be account receivable. Okay. If they're not marked as account receivable, either yes or export, then it will not go over to account link to your accounting software. Okay. And so that's really important. It will let you process it in Retail Pro, but it won't let it go over to uh, the accounting link. Okay. So, uh, to do account receivable is fairly simple. We simply go to uh, point of sale and we make a sale. Yes, I know, go away. <laughs> I haven't even bothered to put my license on mine yet. <laughs> So therefore, I get to reset all my quantities. Oh, yeah. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> if only oh, computers move as fast as us. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we want to make a, a new sale. And I will add something to the uh, receipt here. <laughs> I'll add one of those and oh, one of those. Okay. So we get a couple of items on our receipt. It gives us our total. If we're doing accounts receivable, we must have a customer's name on the receipt. Mm -hmm. And they should be an account receivable customer. That makes sense. If I can't find me, there I am. <laughs> <laughs> and so we add the customer to the receipt. To tender it, I'm going to choose tender. And for account receivable, you're going to choose charge as the tender type. Okay. When you do charge, it asks you what terms does this person get. You can set up default terms under the customer uh, preferences and what they get. And so I've got me at 30 days. Okay. And we go, okay. Now it's ready to print or update the receipt. So since I don't have a printer hooked up, I'm going to update the receipt. Makes sense. And we log back in. We can continue to make sales as many as we want. Okay. If the customer wants to pay on their account receivable account, again, you need to add that customer to the receipt. Then for a payment, you're going to come down to fee type. And if I want to make a $50 payment, 
I choose the 50. And then it asks me what type of fee I want. I want to do a POA or paid on account. Okay. Again, then I go tender. Then how are you going to pay that money in? So I'm going to pay for that okay. with cash. And so I'm going to pay with uh, $50. And we will update. And we're all set. We have made a, oh, stop it. <laughs> We have made some sales, we've made some payments, and we're all set to be able to bring all that over to our account link, to our account okay. account. Before I do that, I probably ought to open up my accounting. <laughs> it would be a lot easier if I open it up. Probably, yes. Yeah, so we open up accounting. While it's opening, I'm gonna run over here to account link. In account link, Version 9 and version 8 are exactly the same. Okay. To bring stuff over that's happened in your Retail Pro, you're going to go to Batches, and you decide what kind of batch it is you need to bring over. We were doing receipts, so we want to bring over receipt batches. We tell it when these receipts happen. So we go to Read. And we do what's called read a batch. Okay. Batch I want to read is for today. So I will put in today's, I said I will put in today's date, thank you, <laughs> in all three slots. And then when I go OK, it's going to look at Retail Pro, see what happened, and bring over a summary of whatever happened in Retail Pro. So we can say I took in $50 cash. Mm -hmm. I had a 5436 charge. I got $12.89 as my cost of good. Okay. Total sales were $49.99. I had a POA of $50. Inventory of $12.99. Sales tax of $437. Mm -hmm. And I know that's right because I only had the one sale and it was a $50 sale. Yep. <laughs> so I now want to post this. So we're going to run up here to post. We tell it what day we're posting for. You have three options. Only two are valid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Store and company. Okay. Transaction works, but it doesn't work well. Because what transaction does, it literally makes a separate post into your oh. accounting for every single receipt you had. Yeah, that's so if you have 100, 200 receipts in a day, you got 200 different little journal entries showing up in your accounting. Right. A mess, you'll never figure out what's happening. Right. So you either want store or company. Okay. Usually store. If you had more than one store, you would get a separate batch for each store. Okay. And we're going to say OK. And it's going to post that batch. Once the batch is posted, it creates what's called an IIF file. That's an Intuit interchange file. Assuming, of course, you're using QuickBooks. Mm -hmm. You can also post to BusinessWorks or to Mass100. Okay. With QuickBooks, I open up my QuickBooks. I want to bring in that batch I just processed. So I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to go down to Utilities, to Imports, mm -hmm. to IIF Files. And I'm going to tell it to import that IIF file. With QuickBooks, we create a folder called QB Data, and that's where we send the IIF files to. So you can see we have this one that we just did. We got this one that I did previously. I've already imported that one. So I want to put that in my imported batches folder. 
Uh, but that okay. I don't bring in the same one twice. Makes sense. Right. Then I pick up the good one. I say open. And it will open that transaction. It says, I have a charge that exceeds my credit limit. <laughs> do I really want to do that? Yes, I do. Because I haven't set a credit limit. And you've got the choice with QuickBooks to set a credit limit or not set a credit limit. Mm -hmm. In ways, I kind of like it to not have a credit limit <laughs> because then I know that I've got accounts receivable coming in. And I say yes, and it imports that data. Whenever you import accounts receivable or accounts payable, you want to go to chart of accounts. And for accounts receivable, you want to check AR clearing to make sure it is zero. Okay. If you were doing accounts payable, you would check AP clearing and make sure it is zero. Makes sense. If we, if we double click on AR clearing, we can see what happened. We got the batch that came in with the total of the batch. We then have a, the payment. We've got the charge and we got the payment and we end up back at zero. Okay. So you should always end at zero. You should always end at zero. Okay. If you don't end at zero, you know something didn't come over right. Right. So we're all set there. Go away. <laughs> the next step would be if you want to know or compare your accounts receivable charges to your accounts receivable payments. We could go to customers and simply look at our customer list. And we could jump down here and find my account. And we could see that I've got a couple of invoices and I got that payment we just did and the invoice we just did. If I want to process that payment, I could do it from here. Or I can uh, go up here to reports. I can go to customers and receivables. I can go to open invoices. And that shows you any invoices that have not been paid, along with any payments that haven't been applied. I can select the invoice I want to apply that payment to, double click on it, come up here and tell it to apply payments. It'll check off the matching payment or whatever payment I've got mm -hmm. up to the amount of that uh, charge. I can say done. And it tells me, oh, no, I'm past due mm -hmm. because I haven't paid the whole bill. I still owe a hundred dollars. Right. And data reports have changed. And I say, yes, go ahead and update it. And it shows now. I've got 96 instead of 150 due here, mm -hmm. and I got a 50 due here. I still owe 151 dollars and 17 cents. Okay. And that is verifying your invoices and cleaning them up after they come over. In accounting, you can run a re a uh, statement. Under customers, you can create statements, and it allows you to create a statement. You can do it for all customers, for one customer, for several customers. Hmm. I don't need anybody that has a zero balance. Mm -hmm. I don't need anyone who hasn't done anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do, but I don't this time. And I can go print or preview. Ideally, you would tell it print, otherwise it doesn't update them correctly. And we get the statement that would be sent out to the customer. It tells me what my balance was previously, the receipts that I, my new purchase, my new balance, and the payment, mm -hmm. and my final balance is still due. Looks good. And it tells me down here. I'm 30 to 60 days past due on that $96. Hmm. 
and you can send those out to your customers and tell them, hey, pay up. <laughs> <laughs> so, any questions on accounts receivable in Retail Pro or bringing over those results to QuickBooks using account link? No, no, it looks good. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, nothing really complicated at all. Yeah, simple is good. And if, and if we bring this back up, it looks like we covered everything. All right. <laughs> well, it's pretty easy when it's only one person, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for showing me that. I appreciate it. Well, you are welcome. You have a marvelous one. And uh, we'll talk to you a little later. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.